So let's go further and see what we mean by collect supporting document. I believe that you have to collect your supporting document for making extension of time in two different stages. I'll explain to you what I mean by two different stages. So let's start by the first stage, which is collecting supporting document during project execution. And the second stage is during claim preparation. When any construction project starts until it's finished, this is I refer as project execution stage. So whether you have an instruction to uh, submit extension of time or not, you will keep recording the events during the project execution. So what I mean here that whenever an event occurs, you have to record it. You have to have the supporting document for it. So if you are in a situation later on, you have to prepare an extension of time, you will not panic to find the supporting document and to remember what was happening before. So what we need to do during the project execution, let me explain to you. During the project execution stage, we will discuss now the steps you will do as a planning engineer to collect the supporting documents in the project execution stage. So let's see what these steps are. This is the first step after having all potential events for EOT. As a planning engineer, you have to discuss with the project manager the uh, classification of this potential events. You as a planning engineer, you will do your best to identify potential events. So you need a further level of authority to give you the direction whether these events are subject to extension of time or not. So you need to discuss with someone. I suggest here the project manager to discuss with him these potential events. Just to come to a, a conclusion whether it is event or not. So, okay. After you go to this first conclusion, it is event or not, you have to define whether it is a clear event or a hidden event. Why we make different classification for clear event and hidden event? Uh, in the construction world, take it a concept and an advice from me. Don't deal in the extension of time like the other party knows what you are doing. So if the, the event is not very clear that it is subject to extension of time, you have to tell the client or to tell the consultant something like hey this is this instruction you give to me uh, although it looks like no impact on it but after we study we find one two three four five so you need to make a clarification you need to tell you need to do a narrative uh, also people who are reviewing this extension of time maybe not involved in the project at all so you need to tell them what is going on 